Directus markets itself as a non-compromised CMS, but does it actually deliver? In this video, I will break down how it works, who it's best for, and what you need to know before choosing it. So stick around until the end to hear the unexpected limitations and we should absolutely avoid it. I've divided this video into key sections, and first I will cover a platform overview, then we'll look at pricing and costs and more. So let's start with the platform overview. Directus is an open source CMS that connects directly to SQL databases, and it's originally built in the US. It gives you a dynamic API and an intuitive admin panel, and this lets you mirror your schema without migration or login required. And what about the pricing and the costs? So the self-hosted version is free and open source, and for teams that want a hosted solution, Directus offers paid cloud plans based on database size, usage, and features. And in here we can see the self-hosted plans. For this, you need to get a production license, and then the open license will be $0 for qualifying users. So if you want that, go ahead and go to the website, click on self-hosted from pricing, then click on get a license, or you can just go ahead and click on get started to the open license. And now let's take a look at the cloud plans. And here we have the starter, professional, and enterprise plan. And the starter plan is starting at $15 per month, and then the professional at around $100 per month. And you have one studio user included at the starter plan with around 5K DB entries and 50K API requests. And when you're upgrading to professional, then you will get five studio users, 75K DB entries and 250K API requests. And in here you can see some more specifications of the plans in terms of general, infrastructure, support, platform, compliance and security, connectivity, and many more. So now let's take a look at the features and the tools of Directus. And Directus is excelling at working with existing data structures, and it gives editors a low-code interface without hiding anything from developers. And because of this, I would say that it's great for teams who want flexibility without sacrificing database control. And let's make a final verdict on Directus. And I would say that Directus is a powerful option for database-driven projects, but if you're looking for built-in backend logic or a deep customization outside SQL, it may feel limiting to you. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of Directus. Anyway, I hope this video helped you out. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe to my channel.